Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, your boy's back and I done did it again. All right, guys. So today's question was from somebody on online on Quora. And they asked, yo, what is the most common laptop used at Google offices? And, you know, from my experience, when the last time that I went to a Google office over here in New York City, if pretty much everybody that I've seen had a MacBook Pro. Right. Literally every single person I saw. I never saw nobody with a Windows computer. And even like in the offices, I will see um, iMacs. You know, I haven't worked uh, at Google. I've been invited uh, multiple times um, to Google offices, either for a meetup or, you know, like a casual invitation, you know, for, you know, just a meeting with one of my friends. But this is also something that everybody who is commenting on on here too is like yeah macbook pro 15 inch right now like 13 inch 15 inch <laughs> like everybody uses macbook pros now once in a while you're gonna see somebody with uh lenovo thinkpad with linux you know you will see something like that but by far it's gonna be max man you know it's like those are one of those things where like people ask like, oh man, you know, oh, what is it that I should use to start learning how to code? You know, it's like, guys, there's a reason why uh, the big dogs use, you know, Macs. It's just your life is easier. You don't have to worry about all the things that you have to go through with Windows. Windows, you have to come in, install Ubuntu Bash and do a whole bunch of stuff. Like, no, it doesn't even work perfectly. You know how many people I get from emails and sending me messages like, yo, Joe, uh, having some issues with my Windows computer following, uh, you know, the just the, the you know, the uh, the freaking starter kit, like the s simplest thing in the world. Right. And they have issues because it's Windows. It's just it, it's pretty much <laughs> a flaw system. Like I'm telling you guys, I have <laughs> I have a brand new Windows computer here, like. I have a monster computer here that I pretty much paid like $2,000 catching dust. I don't use it at all. I put in Linux whenever I want to play around with Linux. I basically bought that computer for gaming. I, I maxed it out. I did a whole bunch of stuff. And the computer is just, you know, the graphic card doesn't run as good as it should be. I don't know, man. <laughs> You know, there's always a, a different things. Hey, you got to download this driver. Hey, you got to install this. Hey, your controller's not working because it's at this distance. Uh, you know, it's like so many different things. Like, yo, like, it's ridiculous. Trust me. Trust me, guys. It's ridiculous all the things that I have to go through in a Windows computer just to get anything done. Um, but, yeah, man, this is a, a pretty cool question because, you know, people always asking that. Like, man, what should I start with? What is it that, I, you know, which one should I buy? Guys, if you have $500 in your pocket and you're like, oh, man, I want to buy something right now. Wait a little bit. Buy yourself a used MacBook, you know, 2012, 2013, 2014. You could buy it for $700, $200 more. Just wait for it. Buy it on Craigslist. Buy it from somebody. Literally, it's going to make your life so much easier, right? And on top of that, it's like you're using what the professionals are using. People keep talking about, hey, man, there's more Windows users. Guys, it's a big difference. Quality and quantity, right? It's like everybody that uses Windows is because Windows are cheap. You could go online and buy yourself a Windows laptop for $100. Like, you know, why people be like, oh, man, in my country, everybody uses Windows. In my company, everybody uses Windows. Yeah, because in your company, they don't have money to really invest into infrastructure and be like, hey, guys, we're going to give you guys the best tools around. Nah, they don't. You know, it's like a lot of times you just don't have those those companies that could come in and take care of you as a developer. And that's just how it is. But doesn't mean that's the best tool out there. Like, trust me, guys. Like, I used to be a, a Windows head back in the days. My whole life was with Windows. You know, my first computer was, like, Windows 95. Um, even before that, we had, like, a Windows NT that barely worked. And then we upgraded to Windows 95. Then from there, Windows XP. XP was the best to me. 
because everything worked perfectly for it. The moment they started doing Windows 7, uh, what was that? Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, Windows 10 now. It's like Windows 8.1. Like, what? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what are you talking about? 8.1. That's a brand new version. Like, bro, sit <laughs> your <Jazz> down. <laughs> You know what I mean? So people come up with crazy stuff on Windows, man. And I feel bad, man, because I, I do respect Microsoft, man. I respect the grind. I respect what Bill Gates built. But I just don't understand why. Why they don't like the software itself is it's tracky. It's, it sucks. Um, I've seen their new computers, what they got, like, you know, the one that that flips over and you could draw on it. I think Mac should be jealous of that, right? There's a lot of cool things that they have in Windows, but like, let's say the touch screen on a laptop, that's cool. That's hot. I wish my MacBook could do that, right? I'll be honest. I wish they could do that, but for some reason, they're not focusing on it, but I think like they should definitely take that and start making things more touch screen. But at the same time, you know, Mac, they're trying to make money. They're like, Hey man, if we make, if we make our laptops touch screen, that's it. We, that's pretty much killing off the iPad automatically. You already killed the iPad. The moment you make it touch screen, goodbye iPad, right? So they're trying to stand it, right? Or how people say they're trying to perfect it, but I don't know. But you know what I mean? Like when it comes to this Windows versus Mac, guys, you're a developer. You want to get the best tools. You don't want to be hacking things in. You don't want to be dealing with drama like there's a thing where let me see where is it um i'm gonna this is a, a good comment somebody put here man uh let me see where is it yeah look haven't seen any windows laptop i heard someone in my team say they try using windows but it was a pain to configure with all the internal security stuff yeah like this company's trying to wean off uh windows like they don't for security reasons period like you you definitely do not want to be using a windows computer like there's so much stuff man so many things like you know we could go to the deep end you know max versus windows whatever but you know the answer is there kids what do people in google use they use uh mac macbook pros that's it Right. And then they use the Chromebooks because Chromebooks are free. They give it to you for free. You literally you go in there first and they be like, hey, day one, here's a Chromebook. That's it. It's like a two hundred fifty dollar laptop for you to walk around. It's cheap. Right. But the ones that they use for for their work is Macs. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share it. Make sure you look at the description. Make sure you leave a comment. I don't care if you have nothing to say about this topic. Just leave the letter J. That's it. All right. Go to my website, man. Codingface.com. Go subscribe, guys. I got a bunch of tutorials, a bunch, a, a bunch of uh, exclusive content, content that you can't see here on YouTube. So go ahead, guys. Go sign up. It's pretty cheap, man. Like literally 50% off, man. You're talking about $10, man. Like, come on, man. I know you guys over here buy a bunch of, <laughs> of Udemy courses. Come on. $10 is nothing, man. That's like freaking McDonald's money, man. All right? Support your boy. Support the channel. Support the community. And yeah, we here live, man. We almost get into 10000 Almost. We almost there, guys. Somewhere this week, we're going we're gonna to do it, and I'm going to give out a couple of things to 10 people. All right? I'll see you guys later. Pow.